Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how it's possible for a UK dentist to earn approximately £70,000 salary as an NHS dentist within the UK. So let's get cracking. So if you are interested in working as an associate in the UK, most associates will usually be working as a performer and will be required to complete a set number of UDAs or units of dental activity per year. The value of each UDA has regional variations and can range from £20 per UDA to £28 per UDA, depending upon where they are working. Before we can discuss how much an NHS dentist earns, we need to first understand how the NHS system works. An NHS dentist are paid based on units of dental activity, or UDAs, with each procedure accounting for a particular number of UDAs. So, we look at the NHS banding system. All NHS treatment is separated into four bands. We have band one, which is worth one UDA, and contains things like an examination, a scale and a polish. Then there's band 2, which is three UDAs, and is for any treatment like restorations, extractions, or root fillings. It is important to understand that no matter how many root canal treatments or extractions you perform under one course of treatment, you will only get paid for three UDAs. And then there's band 3, which is for 12 UDAs, and band 3 essentially encompasses anything that requires some sort of lab work, example, a denture or a crown. We also have what is sometimes referred to as a band 4, and this provides 1.2 UDAs, and is known as an urgent band. The crucial thing to remember is that it makes no difference how many treatments you do in that band, so whether you are doing 1 filling or 10 fillings, you would still only receive 3 UDAs, resulting in a single band 2, for that round of treatment. The dentist will now be paid per UDA performed. The value is determined by a number of factors, the most important of which being the practice's contract and how much they will be paid per unit of service. As a dentist, you will then have to pay the practice a license fee, which is normally 50% of the UDA value. So if, you use your, so if you use a UDA value of £20 for ease of calculation, you would pay £10 of this as your license fee to the practice. As a result, you would receive £10 for each UDA that you do. You then, as an associate, agree with your practice on a goal amount of UDAs that you are going to achieve in a contracted year. So, at a typical value of around 8,000 UDAs, you will gross £80,000 for full-time work. You will also have deductions from the gross amount that you have earned, which includes paying 50% of the lab fees and also paying superannuation, which is your NHS pension if you have decided to opt in. So earning £70,000 as an NHS dentist is clearly possible, but will require a lot of hard work and will require you to complete at least 8,000 UDAs. I have to be honest there and say that newly qualified dentists should not really attempt to do more than 4,000 UDAs, as taking on too many UDAs can create burnout and stress. Rather, you should be focusing on doing less UDAs, but maybe supplement your income with private treatment. I hope this brief video has provided some kind of an overview of how much you can earn as an NHS dentist and how the pay structure works. If you've benefited from the video, then please kindly like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps the channel grow further. Thank you very much for listening.